EMS, like any other job, has its stressors. Some common stressors are changes in location or residence, starting a new job, being promoted, losing a job, starting a new school, changes in personal friends, family members getting married or divorced, a death of a family member, and so forth. You as an EMS student will start to understand that this program is quite stressful. You'll need to be able to understand how stress acts personally to you and to those around you. We'll need to know how we best cope with these stressors and understand that these events may lead to a burnout or a critical incident stress level. Ways to mitigate stress is to adhere to a healthy lifestyle, including getting adequate sleep, eating nutritious meals, exercising regularly, and allowing a communication for debriefing when going on cases. This may be seeking professional help as a psychiatrist or employee assisted program or potentially an alternative would be speaking to a close friend, a supervisor, or including counseling from a religious sect. Certain behaviors, we would call them high risk behaviors, we would try to stay away from. These would include consumption of alcohol, use of illicit substances or controlled substances, high risk activities, speeding, drag racing, and taking chances, as in gambling, or promiscuity, having multiple relationships. Now these are just potential indicators of a high risk behaviors that we would try to stay away from. As stress develops, we know that this weight tends to change the person and they may become either withdrawn, erratic, hypervigilant, anxious, agitated, lack of sleep, anorexic, They may even withdraw from communication. So look around to see if you see any of these within yourself or within your friends or colleagues. We can assess them and potentially initiate or align them with a critical stress or stress management system after an initial event, we usually enact a CISM or Critical Incident Stress Management. The first prong would be a debriefing within a 24-hour period. 
of those that were directly involved with the stressing event. We will continue to manage this event with several other encounters. Usually, this is spearheaded by teams that have taken a CISM or Critical Incident Stress Management training. There are other methods in which we are currently looking at and developing protocols and policies to address students within our programs.